number 171 in the imprint range is Save the Tiger uh, from 1973. This Jack Lemmon Stan movie was the movie that let him or allowed him to give a performance that won the Academy Award for Best Actor. And you can see why there's this particular scene where he's delivering a speech which is just phenomenal. As he's seen various things happen in front of him, as he slowly come to realise about his life, everything kind of changes and you see him almost break down in this wonderful role. Um. He is Harry Stoner, a CEO of a clothing company who is wheeling and dealing and struggling to survive. He's had some uh, fruitful years, things are looking a little bit dicey and he's just wanting to make through the next year by wheeling and dealing as best he can. It's only 11.30. Come on, Harry, call the girl. I'll try. And we get to see Harry as he manipulates his way through the world, trying to get people to put him big orders so that he can uh, financially support his business for the next year or so. As he uh, manipulates and talks to various people to kind of get them to do what he wants, as he kind of just drifts through this world. You want a ball? <laughs> well, I, it's awfully nice of you to watch. He's a nameless person almost without a... a idea of how to live. He, he's kind of lost that humanity. He's a veteran of the war 20 years past um, and he finds it sh a struggle to really communicate in an emotional level with almost everyone within the film. I think Jack Lemmon is just phenomenal at the best of time. This feels a very different role for uh, him and one that he can really get his teeth into. You can see that in the backstory, you know, he took scale on this one, he knew it was going to be a financial flop, but he wanted to do the movie because he had a lot to say, because it was something he could get his teeth into, and it shows on screen. It's one of those ones where the situations just keep happening for Harry, and it feels as if everything is just getting worse, and he's digging himself deeper into a hole, his psychologically cracking a little bit. The fractures are starting to appear. You don't know if he's going to break completely or if he's going to pull everything together or if this is just his state of mind. This is how he moves through the world on a constant tightrope where either way he could fall off um, and just completely destroy the person that he is. I'll give you a list of regulations to conform to. Fix everything up and I'll burn it. How long will it take? Watch the screen, Harry. He's got this wife that he um, relates to fleetingly um, before she disappears for a week or so in the movie. We have this friend that pops up that gives him a little bit of advice. There are people who pop up into his world that are business partners or people who have bought from him before and he has to wheel and deal uh, and kind of play a game with them to get them around and say some things go awry. Some things don't, but it's all tied to that wonderful performance by Lemmy. Fred, can you hear me? It's me, Harry. Fred. He's completing with us to prolong it. Prolong it? Well, for Christ's sake, you're a pro! I like the fact that this is a character that's made it to the top of the heap. A war veteran who succeeded, who came back from the war, who went through all those torturous events and, yes, climbed the ladder of capitalism to become uh, the captain of his own ship and done really well at that. But again, it's a hollow win. It's unfulfilling as the, the torments and the, the terrors of war still haunt this character. Uh, so much so that you see that it's a kind of damning effect on war. It's like that particular sequence I was talking about at the start of this review when he's giving that impassioned speech and he slowly starts to break ever so slowly in front of our very eyes. It's a fantastic performance. It's a fantastic movie. I, I like almost all the interactions that we have with Harry, and the various characters that he meets, the moments that he can be uh, honest with certain people, uh, and in the moments where he's trying to be honest, but we know he's not. It's just a duplicitous nature that he kind of slips into. It's a character that's deeply flawed, that's unfulfilled, that's emotionally stinted, and uh, dispassionate about almost everything 
uh, except just getting a little bit further down the road with his business. And even there, he's taking some rash choices um, that's ultimately not the best for him. Uh, Save the Tiger was phenomenal. Um, the story is interesting enough, but it's all about the performance from Jack Lemmon, who gives us a wonderful character to follow, to some great interactions with him, gives some, uh, some nuance that, that really kind of brings this to life. I really loved the character of Harry, even though he was deeply, deeply flawed. And I think Lemon deserved the Oscar for this performance. It was truly terrific. And that's from a character, uh, an actor who's done some wonderful performances over his career. I would love to know your thoughts on Save the Tiger if you've seen it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you fall somewhere in the middle? Let me know in the comment box below. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff if you're interested. In the description box are links to the Patreon, the membership programme and manvfilm.com. All ways in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.